thanks for joining us for another edition of National Focus. I'm Colette Ambo. Coming up, senior geologist says Dominica's geothermal project has so far exceeded expectations. Students of early childhood centers were the focus of Dominica's observance of OECS Day on Wednesday, and over 800 employed so far through the National Employment Program. Stay tuned for these and other stories after this. The black sitatoka fungus can survive on banana and plantain leaves even after they have been cut from the tree. Farmers and hucksters are encouraged to use alternate cushioning material when moving produce from farm to the market. Do not use banana and plantain leaves as cushioning. It is against the law to move banana and plantain trash from the field. Obey the law and stop the spread of black sitatoka today. Thanks for staying with us. Seismic monitoring equipment have been installed on eight sites in Dominica. This is as a direct result of efforts of the Office of Disaster Management, ODM, and the Seismic Research Center of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus in Trinidad. On Tuesday, June 17th, representatives of the local media were taken on a visit to one location in Salisbury. Mandela Christian, program officer and engineering geologist at the ODM, stated that Dominica has one of the highest volcanic densities in the world. Hence, active monitoring is a top priority of the ODM. Seismic and volcanic hazards is a top priority at, on ODM, at ODM, and we take monitoring for these hazards quite seriously. Now we have partnered in the past and we continue to partner and work with the Seismic Research Center of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus in Trinidad. And over the past two weeks, they have been here installing some new seismic stations and upgrading some of the existing seismic stations on island, all in an effort to increase and enhance volcanic and seismic monitoring on the island. He also noted that the ODM is pleased with the efforts of the Seismic Research Center of the University of the West Indies. We at the Office of Disaster Management are quite pleased that they have come to install the site and help increase our seismic monitoring, seismic and volcanic monitoring on island. Lloyd Lynch of UE's Seismic Research Center revealed that the project is funded by the European Union under the Innovation and Environment Regions of Europe Sharing Solutions. We partnered, submitted a proposal that was successfully funded and under that proposal um, eight new monitoring stations have been installed in the Lesser Antilles to improve not only the tsunami warning and, and, and alerting capabilities but also to improve the monitoring infrastructure that's in place to study and understand better the natural processes of volcanism and, and, and um, earthquake um, occurrence. The station is one of four in the English-speaking Caribbean and is powered by solar panels. The entire system is powered with a bank of solar panels which is on the southern side here. The system um, runs from about, by about um, 35 watts of energy. The collected seismic data is sent to neighboring islands as well as the Puerto Rico Seismic Network, who has the best capacity to assume the role of tsunami warning center for the Lesser Antilles. Senior geologist Sigurdur Johnson says Dominica's geothermal project has so far exceeded expectations in terms of productivity. Johnson made the comment as he addressed the public meeting at the Loda Primary School on Tuesday. The meeting came on the heels of a six-day flow test at Dominica's first commercial geothermal well in Loda on Monday. Our observations are in, are in such a fashion that the well is extremely productive. It is an extremely good connection with the reservoir, as we say, the, uh, the, the, 
the, the chamber of geothermal activity, which is much larger than the well pad and much larger than the immediate area of the well. And uh, as, as I said earlier, it exceeded our expectations. The quantity of steam and the quantity of water that came f from the well was what was indeed more than we had expected. And I think that's very fortunate because it will be a, uh, a sort of a, a stepping stone to further decision making and evaluation on the capabilities of this particular reservoir. In other news, students of early childhood education facilities from across the island took the spotlight in this year's celebration of OECS Day, today, Wednesday, June 18th. The Dominica Association of Teachers, in collaboration with early childhood educators, have been celebrating OECS Day in Dominica for five years, and the celebration continues to grow. This year's festivities took the form of a street parade from the Dexia compound to the government headquarters, where an exhibition was held. Special guest His Excellency Felix Regois, OECS ambassador, noted in his address that significant progress has been made within the OECS states. We have been seeing a number of initiatives falling into place over the years. And today we can say that OECS citizens can travel from one country to the next without a passport. You can go to any island with an identification card with your picture on it. And that is a tremendous thing because when people benefit like that, then they support the unity that we all try to achieve. The OECS ambassador also commended the efforts of Dominicans as the island is at the forefront in the celebration of OECS Day. Dominica is leading in the observance of OECS Day. And if you go online or if you listen to your radio and television, you probably will not pick up any activity happening anywhere else except in Dominica. So you should give yourself a tremendous applause for that. Guests included President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, His Excellency Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre, as well as other dignitaries and officials. This year's funding was obtained from the OECS Commission under an EDF project which includes public awareness on regional integration as a component. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States was established on June 18, 1981, when seven Eastern Caribbean countries signed the Treaty of Basse agreeing to cooperate with each other and promote unity and solidarity among the members. In more news, Energy Minister Honorable Rayburn Blackmore has reassured residents of the Roseau Valley and Dominica by extension that government geothermal energy project is being developed by the best in the business. Honorable Blackmore says government was able to contract consultants and engineers with years of experience in the business during the drilling, testing and ongoing supervision. The Iceland drilling team is among the best in the world. The ESA group is among the best in the world in terms of the testing and the monitoring of the environment. And the Geothermal Resource Group of America is among the best in the world, my dear friends. We have been able to contract the best talent in the world to lead us to the process. And we are confident with the support we shall, in due time, develop our own, our own local capacity to own those, that process going forward. Meantime, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt says his administration will continue to listen to and address the concerns of residents in the Roseau Valley as the geothermal project evolves. We have always at every single step of the, of the, of the process step back and listen to the concerns and the views of all those who have expressed them. And when the government have said that whenever the residents of the Roseau Valley raise an issue, we have an obligation 
to listen to the issue and to respond to it. And in cases where you, we need the experts to come in to answer these questions, we have done that. And I give the assurances to the residents of the Rosa Valley and indeed the entire country that we shall continue to do so as we go along. Coordinator of the National Employment Program, Gloria Joseph, has confirmed that over 800 persons have been employed through the various components of the National Employment Program. Joseph was speaking at the official launch of the NEP's Community Employment Program in Maho on Monday. When the program commenced in December, the government was looking towards employing a little bit over 400 persons. The funding for this program came as a, a gift, a grant from the people, government and the people of the Republic of Venezuela as a contribution towards Dominica's economy. And we found it very pleasing and, and also beneficial that the government would look at the way in which the money could have been invested. And one of the ways that was selected was the curbing of the unemployment program um, situation in Dominica and thereby contributing towards the economy and you individually. The program was launched in December with on-the-job training opportunities where college and university graduates were placed into businesses within the public and private sectors as government paid interns. Joseph indicated that in an effort to facilitate individuals without official certification, the NEP has branched out into other areas. However, the program was, was not just about placing people with academic qualifications in jobs. The program had to cater towards uh, persons at, we, who refer to as at the grassroots level. And so the program focused on the other areas of community development. And so we have launched several community development or employment programs streaming across the island. One of the first programs that we launched was in the Laplin area, which catered for Laplin, Grand Bay, Casabruce, and the Carib Territory. And the program continues to be rolled off in various communities. The Community Employment Program addresses areas such as community tourism and beautification, as well as education, the Yes We Care program, and the school feeding program within the specific communities. And finally, this news time, Fête de la Musique is carded for the 21st of June this year with the focus on urban music. In an interview with the GIS News on Wednesday, director of the Alias Faces de la Dominique, Stanislas René, announced that several activities have been planned. We're gonna have like a, a festive part with concerts, with different artists who are gonna be performing, calypso, jazz, uh, bouillon, reggae, hip hop, and so a lot of variety of music. And then because of uh, Fête de la Musique, it's also uh, a day to, how do you say, to teach what is music. So we're gonna have some workshop uh, facilitated by Ra, Rasmo, Dada Lawrence, Ian Jackson on different aspect of the music for the youth. So that, that's a, the, the only important thing, the other important thing, sorry. And we're gonna have also some documentaries on music from three to five, and then from five to midnight, the concert. According to René, the concept of Fête de la Musique originated in France in an effort to unify peoples through the art form. René hopes that this year's celebration will be a turning point for the growth of the festival. I hope we're going to push it this year in order for, for the, 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 the over years to be like a, a part of the calendar of Dominica. You know what I mean? Like for instance, 21st of June will be the Fête de la Musique in Dominica. You know, it would be nice actually to have like uh, an all day devoted to music when everybody performs in the streets. So for now it's at Alliance Francaise. The, the years before, so it was at Alliance Francaise. Right now we're doing it on the streets, just in front of Alliance Francaise, in order to, to, to get to the concept to Fête de la Musique. And maybe next year we're gonna do it maybe in Roseau, in town, and all around the place. Saturday's workshops are being organized by the Cultural Division and the Ministry of Education and will be facilitated by a number of local professionals within the music industry. 
The concert will feature both local professional and amateur artists, as well as two urban musicians from Guadeloupe. The Dominica Association of Music Professionals is spearheading the search for performers, and according to the association's president, McCarthy Marie, they are aiming to have all kinds of musical genres on display. You have the Midnight Groovers who are going to come from Grand Bay. You have a new band called Beerit. And the interesting thing about them, they play a kind of a little rock and reggae and so on. And their bass player is a female, you know, which is not a usual thing in Dominica. Um, then we have Daryl Bob, who, is, who came second, I think, in the Calypso competition. There is Dice's Promises to be there. Joy Stout is going to be there. It's a new artist called Cynthia, who has a new video on DNO, um, is going to be there. And yeah, so we are sure of these people coming, and there are others who are working all the time, say that I understood this thing is going on, I would like to be part of it. The Eastern Caribbean Collective Organization for Music Rights has provided a copyright license free of charge for this event. This has been the English segment of the news. Matheson St. Luce comes up next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non moins, c'est Matheson St. Luce. Premièrement, le gouvernement domine Kabati Maison Apartment pour résidence Silver Lake. Parole sur la sortie de mon parlement, Honorable Ambrose George. Pour faire en manière pour improver. Um, ces cases là yoni uh, actuellement you can you can you can you can you can vive um, c'est une place qui vient après uh, hurricane um, David en 1979 avec nous river mania qui toutes ces cases là qui étaient qui étaient bâti attend ça yo vie yo ka yo ka tomber yo yo ka croiser so gouvernement pour on décide en décision pour pour faire un apartment building apartment building à Kenny six appartements Um, quatre qui sont deux chambres avec deux qui sont une chambre. So, nous nous mettons six familles à um, l'appartement um, neuf. Donc, ces so, familles qui ont été en longue qui sont plus vieilles. C'est la plus vieille place. Là. Nous avons tué les hôtes de longue house et mis dans l'appartement neuf. Donc, so, nous avons nous, nous, nous passé à ce Valley Road. Là, et là nous voyons Mosso infrastructure, ça c'est il ka il ka il ka really brighten place là. Alors nous voulons même pas le même pour des big honorable Dr Kenneth Darrow qui a fait pas wall qui vont se là qui tape attention mais why pour chain mitigation bagay changement climatique qui a affecté l'occasion là. Honorable Darrow fait pas wall se là par la banque la terre t'es fait à l'occasion et on savait trois millions de dollars pour Dominique adresser bagay changement climatique. Nous avons 12 à 13 millions de dollars pour, 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 um, pour adresser le problème de Big Bear. Eh si, si nous connaissons le Big Bear, nous savons que c'est un problème qui a existé pour, pour, pour combien de décades. Nous avons changé quand nous avons changé l'école. Nous avons changé l'école pour matcher combien de jours l'école en Ozo. Parce que la um, chimie a été bouchée et le transport n'a pas passé. So, mon quoi c'est mon débit que c'est pas mon débit que c'est mon entire sort là quand um, mon entire sort pays là um, que 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 vous de que 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 vous le savez que nos cal finalement nos cal commencent à adresser ces problèmes débit que ça là et ben comme comme on parle à manquer on dit et ben pour pas mettre moi 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 pour être bien proud humble bien proud que Moussa commence pour être comment de ça de ça adresser cette situation ça là débit à la nouvelle, l'Office NEO est si bien assisté ministre Santé et puis Manuel qui a servi comme guide pour maman et puis bébé. Ça fait qu'à concerner High Infant Mortality Rate, ça c'est les enfants qui sont faits qui sont morts, qui vous voué attention à l'assistance. La parole est la sorte de Family Nurse Practitioner, Vitaline Vitaland. Ça nous dit que ça fait. Et bien, il partait en cas de jeune standard. Copain WHO, World Health Organization, c'est une fin de mortalité rate qui était en manière haut en Dominique. So, ça prompt. Copain, Manuel a déjà là, mais nous avons assistance, parce que changer, sans enfin, jodi, c'est yo qui est là demain. So, nous devons faire quelque chose pour. pour um, comment on peut ça, non Pour prévenir um, et empêcher d'autres enfants qui souffrent. Donc, so, nous avons l'argent avec 
Vous comprenez, vous savez, à Dominique, nous avons tapé autant d'assistants de l'European Union et bien, vous avez continué pour aider nous. Et bien, finalement, Dominique Bonché a parmi le pays OECS pour célébrer l'anniversaire OECS. Association Teacher en collaboration et puis l'Office OECS ici, organisé activité. Ambassadeur Dominique pour OECS, c'est His Excellency Félix Grégoire. Les enfants, la jour, trois années pour cinq années, ils euh, font une exhibition à euh, euh, Government Headquarters. Avec l'exhibition, c'est Asso Agriculture. Emphasis, c'est Asso Agriculture. Et vous avez tout le monde qui a pris là. Nous, 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 Dominique, Dominique, à l'autre côté, à la, la, la grenade. So, yo, yo, avant ça, nous marchons à la um, Dexia, à um, place Dexia pour venir ici. Et vous avez um, Change um, Preschool uh, en route là. Change Preschool. Et vous avez chanté OICS, enchanté OICSD. Mais nous ne pouvons pas chanter ça. Badia a chanté ça là. C'est un chantier qui nous fait Dominique. Oui. C'est un bon chantier. Mais ça nous voulait faire, c'est pour faire les gens comprendre plus à l'OICS. Laissez les jeunes gens comme ça faire ces bagages ça. Ou ça, ou ça, ou ou ça, ou ça, Parce que ces jeunes gens comme ça, depuis, ils comprennent l'OICS. Ils um, font des pour l'OICS. Par exemple, ils marchent bien. Mesdames, mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nos nouvelles en créole pour présent. Nous, nous sommes avec vous, c'est Au revoir. Coming up, how to prevent illness by keeping your hands clean. What's your dinner? I know, but you want Cheryl. Who? Cheryl? Oh, babes, that's nothing. Nothing? With the neighbor, that is nothing? Ah, oh, whatever. You know you might not But one. she's number what, 10? Plenty married women get the from the husband these days. I don't want to be one of them. From now on, I'm looking out for me. Babes, I only talk to the woman. Until I'm certain, this will take care of both of us, if you're lucky. Your family depends on you. Don't take home aids. In studio discussions, insight, Creole news, road to the throne, Calypso, Creole festival, Carnival and lots more local programming. See it all on the Government Information Service, your first for local news. Keeping hands clean is one of the best ways to prevent the spread of infection and illness. Here are a few tips on some hand hygiene practices to help you stay healthy. When washing your hands, wet them with clean running water and apply soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. And be sure to lather the backs of your hands between your fingers and under your nails. And scrub the hands for 20 seconds. Rinse your hands well under clean running water, then dry them in a clean towel or have them air dry. If you have no soap or clean running water, an alcohol-based sanitizer can be used as a substitute. Ensure hands are washed before food preparation and eating, caring for someone who is sick or treating cuts or wounds. Also, wash your hands after using the toilet, cleaning a child who has used the toilet, touching an animal, and touching garbage. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. Friend us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica. And you can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. On behalf of the GIS News production team, I am Colette Ambo. Thanks for watching.